the Democratic Labour Party does not compete with a standard that is based on a contest. <clears throat> Who could be the most vulgar? Who could be the most arrogant? Name calling, vituperation, disrespect for the office of member of parliament. We don't get into that. Now, I can now do the election in the sense that I'm saying that the outcome of a general election is not always easy to predict. In Barbados, we have few expert cephalogists in our midst. Now, you know, cephalogist is one who is trained to undertake the statistical study of elections and trains in voting. I have studied the works of Patrick Emanuel, more recently the works of Cynthia Barajayas and Tennyson Joseph. And of course, I have to study the work of Cadre. I have to read all of them to understand where they're coming from, how they interpret trends, etc. Find great difference with them. Find great difference with them. But I'm not using this occasion to debate them academically. I will do that where you have to. But I tell you this I give all of them the attention that they deserve. I'm not one who will not pay attention to polls. I do look at them. And I also believe in swing analysis. Once I'm happy that the statistical model to determine the analysis is a strong model, I respect the model. But I'm also aware that there are things other than statistics that can tell me which way the way is blowing in political terms. So I have to be able to integrate all of the information that comes to me. For instance, it's very difficult in Barbados to say which seats are very safe, fairly safe, marginal, or very marginal. It's quite, quite difficult. Because sometimes you think that a, a seat is safe, but then because of the, the way how the electric feels, some good people get swept away. You have to be very careful in your analysis. You have to look at things like the likability factor. I see people who have been liked in Barbados and they've not done anything. <laughs> Been a long time in Parliament and they've done nothing. But apparently there was a strong likability factor. Or a status factor. Because sometimes they just respond to you in terms of your, your status. So it's not always a record of action that will get you where you have to go. There, there are persons, let's say, Hamila. Hamila is a worker. Does not stop working. Hands on engaged. That wasn't him before. That wasn't Louis Tal. But he was there for a long time. And, and George Bain defies. <laughs> I, I don't think it's like a pretty fact that he hasn't done anything. But he's there. He's there. So it, it's not easy, believe me. It is not easy. But I know that in many instances, local environmental factors can make an important contribution to electoral success or failure. So you have to be careful of what is happening on the ground. I do not have a sense that there is any strong desire to change the government at this time. I, I would feel it. When you walk on Wall Street, I would feel it. When you walk through all these things, I would feel it. I don't feel it. I don't hear it. There is no societal lack of ease. I'm not feeling that. I've heard a contrary thing from the time we came in talking about a one-term government. All that was contrary. And it's being said by the same people. And they have reason to say those things. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. I expect that both sides we make strong efforts to capture the large sectors. Women, first time voters, the youth, public servants, policemen, all those kind of people including the elderly disabled. I believe the elections will be decided on the issues of leadership, 
and on the management competencies to organize the performance of candidates. Those are going to be critical issues. It's about managing the campaign and getting things done on election day. I am an avid reader of our newspaper columnists. Some people say they don't read the newspaper. I have strong views about one of them. <laughs> but I read them, I have friends on them, and I'm Congress. And I've been paying particular attention to those who have been courageous enough to publicly share their voting history in a country that can be very secretive about political leaders. When a man writes in the bottom say, I have voted B, D, Da, Da, and I heard Steve and I do that. I read, rather, Charles Moore. Those guys have said, that's who we are. Those are the, the voters who are not committed. There are many more out there. But I'm speaking to Stephen and Carol and the Lodan and that kind of person. I'm satisfied Stephen. I'm satisfied Carol. And I'm satisfied Lodan that you can vote for the incumbent administration and you should persuade others to do the same. Now, I make the point. The group of voters who have a policy of not being tied to a particular party are an important factor in our democracy. They are an important factor in our democracy. And you have to respect them. And the Democratic Party respects them. That's your choice. That's your choice to be or not to be. To be or not to be. That is your choice. And we have to respect that. And to tell you, then you can come out in the paper and say this is my position. You have to be strong, can you? But they said they're waiting to see if we do certain things. They want to see the manifesto what we have to offer. They're still not too sure about leadership in those things. They're waiting to see. And of course, election time tends to crystallize these things. And I'm just asking them to keep the mind open. Keep the mind open. I now speak of the role of the social media in the coming elections. And I think that's going to be very important, social media, especially for the young people. It's a good development. I have to agree with my leader that the publication of the data of electors on the website, that can, somebody can see my social security number and, and use it all over the world. I, I think that's a huge error. And quite frankly, I haven't heard anything from the Barbados Labour Party in response. Maybe they should apologize to all of us. <laughs> if they put my information up there without asking me permission, it's serious business. If you have it internal to your party that people go out and ask, my name on his name, but you put for the word. See what's been different. That, that's a mistake of giant proportions. Apologize. Admit her. What are you waiting for? Why are you leaving on silent? That's a serious thing that you've done, though. I go to their websites. And I see how they're using the social media in terms of caricatures of our leaders in a most distasteful manner. I'm not going to keep away from those websites and want to see what they are doing. But my instructions to our website people will be don't go in that way. Don't go that way. Don't caricature your leaders for the young people then to develop disrespect again for leadership. These are serious things you're talking about. These are serious things. You can be critical, but you don't have to be disrespectful. You don't have to parody and pull down your leaders in trying to get support. I'm not afraid to tell them that. Because somebody has to start for standards in this country. Must be so.